Pablo Escobar is everywhere. In the streets and shops of Bogota, he grins at passers-by from t-shirts, keychains and even oil paintings. Pop culture has turned the founder of the Medellin drug cartel into an icon, an icon who was responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. To Gonzalo Rojas, this trend is horribly painful. He tells me that 30 years ago, his father died in a terror attack orchestrated by the notorious drug lord. I think nowadays the people who sell these types of products are solely motivated by the desire to make money. In order to sell, they contribute to the hype around this figure of a crime boss who inflicted a lot of pain on this country. From 1976 to 1993, Escobar ruled over a kingdom of horror fueled by assassinations, kidnappings and terror attacks. Still, some of the very Colombians who once lived in fear of him now seek to profit from his legacy. Some people come in and get mad. They tell me this is blasphemy and ask me, why on earth are you selling this? But people ask for it. This is, after all, my livelihood. If I get a request, I get it painted because I run a business. Gonzalo's NGO, Colombia con Memoria, Colombia Remembers, is trying to show the grim reality behind the idolization with its latest project. Oddly enough, it's an online store selling narco merchandise. Or at least, that's what it looks like at first glance. The way it works is that if you try to buy one of the products offered on the website, you'll encounter the story of a victim of narco-terrorism in Colombia, a direct victim of Pablo Escobar. I'm Magdalena Gomez, and I'm the wife of Nacho Vargas, deceased in one of Pablo Escobar's attacks. I would like to tell my husband that the life project we created together, I tried to do in the name of our love and of our life project. We love you forever. Gonzalo and his co-founder David aren't alone in their fight against the trivialization of Escobar's dark legacy. Through the Narco Store project, they found unexpected allies with very close ties to the drug lord. It's our intention to prioritize the victims over the products that glorify the crimes or the story of my father. Those products are a permanent insult to the families. An alliance for peace unimaginable three decades ago. 27 years after Pablo Escobar's death, Colombia still hasn't been able to dismantle the powerful drug industry he built. Banning the products that glorify narco culture should be a far easier task.